Welcome to Fitness with Mr. Matthews and today's Beat the Teacher Challenge. In today's challenge, you are performing a squat thrust. Not just the one, but as many as you can in 60 seconds. Before we get started, I'm going to show you some mobility exercises and some stretches that are relevant to the movement that we are performing today. Remember, never neglect a warm up for a number of reasons. Number one being mental preparation. Whether you are about to play a competitive game or compete against Mr. Matthews in a beat the teacher challenge, you need to be psychologically ready. Number two, the use of mobility exercises helps enhance blood circulation. This means that oxygenated blood, so blood rich in oxygen, is transported to those working muscles. This is really, really important because this helps us meet the intensity and demands of the exercise or the sport we're about to play. The third reason, as these muscles begin to increase in temperature, they become more elasticated. So when we stretch, we're increasing flexibility and the range of movement possible at a joint. So when we begin exercise, we are less likely to experience injury. Let's begin our first mobility exercise. Interlace your fingers, place your palms together and create a circular motion using your wrists. For the next mobility exercise, I would like you to interlace your fingers, keep your palms apart and create a wave motion. In this exercise, I would like you to circle your arms and control the movement using the deltoids in the shoulders. This is important because we are trying to increase the mobility and range of movement possible in the shoulders. Now you might be thinking, why have we targeted our wrists and why are we now targeting our shoulders? The reason being, during the completion of a squat thrust, as you lift your feet off the ground, there is great resistance and pressure applied to the shoulders, the arms and the hands. And this is because you use them to support your body weight. As you prepare to stretch your glutes heel, place your foot over your opposite leg. Bring across your opposite arm and place your elbow in contact with the outside of the knee. Begin to increase the pressure between the elbow and the knee by pushing the elbow against the knee. This will start to increase the stretch in the gluteal. As you prepare to stretch your quadriceps, you can choose to lay down on your side or complete standing. Hold your ankle not your toes. By holding onto your ankle, you reinforce the stretch in your quadriceps. By pulling on your toes, you actually start to stretch the tibialis anterior more. Throughout the stretch, keep your knees together and hold the position still. As you prepare to stretch your hamstrings, you need to straighten the front leg, you need to bend the back leg, and you need to place your hands on the bent leg. To increase the pressure of this stretch, you can slide your front foot forwards. Squat thrust variation one. Plank position, feet together, drive your knees towards your chest, so your knees sit just inside the elbows, and jump your feet back. As we progress with this movement, it should become fast and explosive. Squat thrust variation two, feet are now apart. So as you drive them towards your chest, you are also bringing your feet inwards. And as you jump your feet back, you are jumping them outwards.
it's time to begin the challenge. And there you have it guys. I achieved 64 reps in 60 seconds. Please let me know in the section below how many you achieved. Thank you for taking part.